In today's episode, you will learn how to make an IoT-based soil moisture meter for plants using a capacitive soil moisture sensor, SIM 7600GH4G LTE Mario, ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth Mario, One Channel Relay Mario, and Blink application. If you have already watched my previous videos on the SIM 7600GH, then I'm sure you guys would already have an idea of how powerful the Lilico DSIM 7600GH 4G LTE GSM module is. Because in previous videos, I practically demonstrated how to control 220 volt AC bulbs and how to generate feedback messages each time a bulb is turned on or turned off. Along with this, I also monitored a sensor potential meter through a text message via a simple request command. After that, I use the SIM 7600GH4G LTE module as a car GPS tracker. I would simply send a text message with the location command and then the ESP32 would send me a Google Maps URL link using the SIM 7600GH module, including the longitude and latitude values. By clicking on the Google Maps link, I was able to track the location of my car. The GPS is very accurate and the interesting thing is that it can connect with GPS satellites even from inside a room. So far, I'm fully satisfied with all the tests I have conducted on this module. As you know, SIM 7600GH is a 4G LTE module. So using this module, you can provide internet connectivity to the ESP32 module. And this way, you can remotely monitor your sensors and control your electrical loads in real time from anywhere in the world. And this is what we are going to cover in this video. For the practical demonstration, I have made this soil moisture meter for plants. You can power up this project using a solar panel, which you can connect over here. You can also use a lithium ion battery exactly the same way as demonstrated in my car GPS tracking system. You can also use a 5 volt power supply just like me. As you can see, I'm using my design 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. I will add links to all the related videos in the description. Anyway, for the initial experiments, you can also use your laptop to power up this entire project. The wiring is very simple. Connect the VCC and ground wires of the capacitive soil moisture sensor to the ESP32 3.3 volt and ground pins. Connect the output signal wire to the ESP32 GPIO 15. Connect the VCC and ground of the 5 volt relay module to the VBUS and ground. Connect the relay input to the ESP32 GPIO 12. The SIM 7600GH 4G LTE module and the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module are already wired up for you. I have already explained this in the Getting Started video. For the connections, you can follow this circuit diagram. And if you want to make your own 5 volt and 3 amps power supply, then you can follow this circuit diagram. Now, let's start with the Blink Web Dashboard setup. While you are logged in into a Blink account, click on the new template. Write the template name. While ESP32 is selected as the hardware type, select the connection type as GSM. After this, all the steps are exactly the same. The only difference this time is that we selected GSM instead of Wi-Fi and the connection type. I have already created quite detailed video on the Blink Web Dashboard setup. So if you face any issues, you can watch my Getting Started tutorial on the new Blink V2.0. When the dashboard is ready, simply copy these credentials, open the program that you can download from our website electronicclinic.com and paste the credentials. Don't forget to change the GPRS credentials. If this is your first time using the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module, then you will also need to install the ESP32 board in the Arduino IDE. For this, you can watch my getting started video on the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. Next, you will also need to install the entire Blink library package for this, simply go to the Sketch menu, then to include library and click on the Manage Libraries. Type Blink in the search box. You can see I have already installed this library. It works with over 400 ports. Finally, you can upload the program. In my case, I have already uploaded this program. Next, you can start with a Blink IoT application setup on your smartphone.
Our application is also ready. Now let's start the practical demonstration. I have brought up the project using a 12 volt adopter. I have connected this 12 volt adopter to 5 volt and 3 amps power supply, which is then connected through this USB Type C cable to the ESP32 IoT development board. Right now, you can see it's connected to the GSM network. In my area, the 4G network is fully functional. So, as soon as I power up this project, the SIM 7600GH immediately connects to the network. However, if the 4G network weren't functional in my area, I could still use it because it's also fully compatible with 3G and 2G networks. And now I have not connected any load to this relay. However, as you can see, there is an LED that will turn on or off when the relay is activated or deactivated. This relay can be used to control a water pump or any other device. My Blink application is also connected to the internet. So let's add some water. I can monitor the soil moisture in real time. By the way, how much soil moisture should be maintained for which plants? I have already explained this in my previous soil moisture monitoring projects. So with this soil moisture meter now, I can monitor the soil moisture and control the water pump from any part of the world. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.